Okay, Dee Dee, uh, the uh, question of the two uh, coaches, Klopp and Guardiola. I mean, Klopp at Dortmund got to a Champions League final. I remember seeing, <laughs> it was like a game of rollerball. But, the, I mean, he, how do you think he'll approach it? Because he has four, um, doesn't he, in Germany? Yeah, yeah, he does. I don't think I think he's been to uh, uh, quite a few cup finals and lo- lost most of them. So, uh, yes, he has. Um, but as John says, this Liverpool team has only got one way to play. And I think if you sit back as they did in the second half, I think they did really well in the second half to restrict City to one shot off target. Or I don't think they even had a shot on target. Uh, so I think they showed um, a side which we didn't think they have last week in the second half to yes. to sit back to play deep uh, and to soak up pressure and, and not concede any any goal scoring opportunities so uh, that was uh, I think they did, did really well should they have gone for the fourth goal I'm not too sure but to not concede I think was a, was a big effort um, but this Liverpool team is best when they when they go for the opposition's throat and I think we see a team that goes forward that will try to score their goal hopefully without leaving themselves open uh, to the counter attack because obviously that would be uh, that would be really suicidal if you win 3-0 and you concede a goal on the counter attack. So they've got to find the right balance when they do attack. Um, but I think they will go for it uh, because this is when Liverpool is at the best. Um, and I think the manager probably would have learned a few things from these final defeats and from the semi-final defeat last season as well. OK, and there's also the fact that they gave up five goals uh, in the league match, uh, admittedly with 10 men um, in the early part of the season. 